Have you ever wondered why Neptune, the eighth planet of our solar system, is so blue? This icy giant, nestled in the outermost reaches of our solar system, is a world of intrigue and mystery. Its signature blue hue is as captivating as it is enigmatic, a testament to the complex chemical reactions occurring in its thick, stormy atmosphere. But Neptune's allure extends beyond its stunning color. Let's step back in time to the year 1846. A man named Johann Galle, an astronomer from Germany, was about to make a discovery that would forever change our understanding of the cosmos. On a night like any other, Galle identified a tiny point of light in the night sky, a point of light that we now know as Neptune. This discovery sparked a fascination with Neptune that continues to this day. Neptune, an icy giant, holds a lot of mysteries that scientists are still trying to unravel. Neptune's discovery was not a simple sighting through a telescope, it was a triumph of mathematics. In the early 19th century, astronomers were baffled by the erratic movement of Uranus, the seventh planet from the Sun. It seemed to deviate from its expected path, suggesting that some unseen force was at play. Enter two brilliant mathematicians, Urbain Le Verrier from France and John Couch Adams from England. Independently of each other, they took on the mystery of Uranus's irregular orbit. They hypothesized that these deviations could be attributed to the gravitational pull of an undiscovered planet lurking in the outer reaches of our solar system. Both Le Verrier and Adams began painstakingly calculating where this hypothetical planet might be located. Their computations were based on the laws of gravity as defined by Sir Isaac Newton. They worked in isolation, unaware of each other's endeavors. Yet remarkably, they arrived at similar conclusions. Le Verrier, having completed his calculations, sent his findings to the Berlin Observatory. He urged the astronomers there to point their telescopes towards a specific point in the sky. In September 1846, Johann Gottfried Galle, an astronomer at the observatory, did just that. And there it was, a faint blue dot, exactly where Le Verrier had predicted it would be, the eighth planet, Neptune. Neptune's discovery marked a significant milestone in astronomy. It was the first time a planet was discovered not by chance observation, but by predicting its existence and position through mathematical calculations. This was a testament to the precision of Newton's laws of motion and gravity, and it opened the door to a new method of celestial discovery. This discovery also underscored the fact that science is not just about observing and recording, it is about predicting and verifying. It's about having the audacity to imagine the unseen and the determination to prove its existence. Neptune's discovery changed the way we explore the cosmos and it set the stage for the scientific advancements to come. The discovery of Neptune was a testament to the power of prediction in science. Neptune's enchanting blue color is a result of its unique atmosphere. Now, let's dive into the science behind this mesmerizing azure hue. Neptune's atmosphere is primarily composed of three elements, hydrogen, helium, and methane. The most abundant of these are hydrogen and helium, which make up a whopping majority of the atmosphere. However, it's the methane in lower quantities that's the real game changer here. You see, methane is particularly good at absorbing red light from the sun. When this happens, the methane in Neptune's atmosphere takes in the red light, and what's left over is the light at the blue end of the spectrum. This blue light gets scattered in all directions, giving Neptune its distinctive blue color. It's a fascinating process almost like Neptune is putting on its own cosmic light show for us to admire. But Neptune's atmosphere isn't just about pretty colors. It's also home to some of the most extreme weather conditions in the entire solar system. Neptune's climate can be described as nothing short of wild. The planet is known for its strong storm systems with winds that whip around at incredible speeds. In fact, these winds are the fastest in the solar system, reaching speeds of more than 1,000 miles per hour. That's faster than the speed of sound on Earth. These storms can last for long periods, sometimes even years. And while these might seem like just numbers, they paint a picture of an environment that is incredibly dynamic and, well, quite extreme. In the midst of this tempestuous weather, there exist massive storm systems, some almost the size of Earth, swirling in the deep blue atmosphere. In essence, Neptune's atmosphere is a place of extraordinary phenomena. It's a world where beautiful colors are created by methane, where the winds race faster than anywhere else in the solar system, and where gigantic storms rage for years on end. Neptune's atmosphere is not just beautiful, it's incredibly dynamic and extreme. Even though Neptune is far away, that doesn't stop scientists from making some exciting discoveries. In recent years, we've learned so much more about this distant, icy giant. For instance, did you know that Neptune's moon count has climbed to 14? Yes, the discovery of Hippocamp, 
a tiny moon only about 20 miles in diameter, has added to our knowledge of Neptune's entourage. And it's not just about adding moons. Neptune's magnetic field has been a subject of intense study. Unlike Earth's magnetic field, which aligns closely with our planet's rotation, Neptune's magnetic field is tilted at a whopping 47 degrees from its rotational axis. This unusual setup creates some fascinating and rather wild auroras, the dazzling light shows we associate with the poles. But you might ask, what of the future? Are we content with peering at Neptune through telescopes, or do we have plans to get up close? Well, the answer is a resounding yes to the latter. NASA, along with other international space agencies, is keen on sending missions to Neptune. One such mission under consideration is the Neptune Odyssey, a proposed spacecraft that would study Neptune's atmosphere, magnetosphere, and moons. This mission, if it proceeds, could launch in the late 2030s or early 2040s. Other proposals include the Trident mission, which plans to fly by Neptune's intriguing moon, Triton. Believed to be a captured Kuiper Belt object, Triton has geysers spewing nitrogen gas, a spectacle that we would love to study up close. It's an exciting time to be a space enthusiast. With each passing day, we are pushing the boundaries of our knowledge, reaching out to the farthest corners of our solar system. Neptune continues to fascinate us as we strive to uncover its secrets and deepen our understanding of the universe. It's been quite a journey exploring Neptune, hasn't it? We've delved into the intriguing discovery of this distant planet, navigated through its unique and tempestuous atmosphere, and even looked to the future with recent discoveries sparking new questions and exciting possibilities for further exploration. Neptune, the beautiful blue giant, remains an enigma that continues to captivate us. As we continue to explore the universe, who knows what other secrets Neptune, the beautiful blue giant, holds for us.